Next video in our cognitive distortions and biases um, playlist is the attribution bias. This is when you, <clears throat> you find yourself tending to judge others based on their character and you judge yourself based on the situation. So it's kind of a contextual or a context uh, issue. You understand the situation you were in and you tend to make your judgments about your own actions based on the situational um, factors. Uh, but you can judge others uh, who may have made the same or different decision in similar circumstances based on their character. Like, well, uh, <clears throat> I had to do such and such because, you know, I had this deadline or these, these things were involved. Uh, she did that just because she's rude um, or, a, you know, not smart or something. So we, we attribute to others uh, their decisions and actions based on their character or what we, we, uh, what we infer to be their character, because that's kind of a judgmental issue in itself, which we'll get to in the series. And then ourselves, we tend to judge just based on the situations. The way to combat the attribution bias is to uh, try to be, well, in logic, it's called the, um, <clears throat> the, the, uh, principle of charity, I think. So when you're making inferences and you see inference indicators in an argument uh, and you're, you're building out like a, a logic diagram of someone's argument, you try to make, you, you try to assume the strongest argument possible that they're making. So it's like you give them the benefit of the doubt. You give them the charity that, that maybe their situation uh, called for them to make that decision or they're making the strongest argument possible in logic. So, um, for attribution bias to combat that, try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, um, even yourself. Be aware that uh, am I making this judgment based on my situation uh, or um, aspects of my character. So number two, attribution bias. Try to find that one.